The puppet attacks and eats people at night. Reported sightings of the puppet are coming in from all over. Everyone is asked to be extremely careful at night. Please, be safe. What? There's a puppet that eats people at night lurking somewhere nearby? Whoa, that's pretty scary. I better be careful. I hope I'm safe. Oh, that's the doorbell. Who could it be? Oh! Mikey! JJ, let me in! What's wrong? There's something weird with my house today. I keep trying to take a nap, but all these weird noises are keeping me up. Like what? Come look! Sure. This is my house. I'll go in and look. Hmm. It's weird. Weird noises? What could they be? I can't nap. I don't see anything strange. Huh? Really? Huh. No way. I can't figure out what it is. Oh. Hang on, Mikey. Yeah? Uh, there's something under your bed. Huh? Something's lurking under there. Uh, it's... What? Hang on, Mikey. Huh? I think it's the dangerous puppet from the news. What? That thing was under my bed the whole time? Yikes! That's freaky! Are we gonna be eaten? Seriously? It's gonna eat us! It's okay, Mikey. We're safe for now. Huh? Why? Look at it. It's harmless during the day. Huh? It doesn't attack during the day. But at night, it attacks and eats people. So we're safer now. Oh! Then, Gigi, let's beat it! Before night falls! Is that all? Yep. Actually, I have some lava back at my house. Yeah? Let's dump lava on the puppet to beat it. Oh, good idea! Okay? Okay! Follow me! Let's go! All right! All right, Mikey. Got the lava. Use the lava to... Beat it! To beat the puppet. <sighs> I'm so glad it's all working out safely for us. Let's beat it! Uh, huh? What? Where'd it go? Huh? The puppet's gone! Huh? What now? The puppet disappeared! Oh, I'm scared. Seriously? Where did it disappear to? <laughs> Where did it go? You don't think it went back to its own home, do you? That's probably it. Right? Well, we can't be too careful at this point, Mikey. The puppet could still be lurking somewhere in the village. Oh. We can't underestimate it, Mikey. Just in case, let's put up security cameras all around the village. Sure. First, let's put one in your house. One camera down. Oh, I feel better already. Next up, over here. Okay. We'll leave a security camera on this huge tree. Oh, nice. Yep, we can see the entire village with it. That makes me feel safer. Still, I'm scared. Can I see at your house, JJ? Oh, sure you can, Mikey. Thanks. I guess it's time to sleep. Actually, Mikey, it's still possible the puppet is in the village. Let's check the security cameras before we sleep. Oh, right. Let's first check your house, Mikey. My house. It looks just like it always does. Yep. Ah, <sighs> wonderful, right? It seems safe, right? trying to do? What? Huh? Huh? If I've been sleeping at home, I'd have been eaten! What? Well, maybe it was hunting you. Good thing you're here. Huh? Oh! The puppet left! I'll switch cameras. Uh, what's it doing? What? Oh. I 
think it's hiding in the shadows. Please, Mr. Villager, don't open the door! <gasps> oh, it opened. Hang on. That was bad. The villager was eaten. It's already dark out. Oh, I should make plans to hang out with Mikey. Hmm. I think I'll give him a video call. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, JJ. What's up? This cake is delicious. <laughs> it's awesome. Mikey? Hmm? Hey, did you want to hang out tomorrow? Oh, sure! Let's do something together! It'll be lots of fun! Huh? Uh, Mikey? What? He disappeared! Where did he go? Mikey? What happened? <laughs> Who's that? Huh? Was that... A ghost? Seriously, what happened? Could a ghost have attacked Mikey? This is bad. I have to save him. Uh, I'll take the computer with me. All right. I'm off to help Mikey. There's his house. That one. Let's go. Seriously, what happened over there? I need to hurry over. Why did he suddenly disappear? Hmm? The lights are off. Is nobody home? If Mikey is awake, the lights should be on. I'm gonna peek in the window. It's real. That's the one that got Mikey. Oh, man. It looks really strong. And I'm unarmed. If I try to fight that thing now, I'll lose. Okay. I need to make some diamond equipment. Then, I can beat it. I need to go mining first. I really need to find a cave. And fast! All right, I found a cave. I need to hurry up and find those diamonds. Without equipment, I'll never beat the ghost. Where can I find them? Hmm? Oh! There! I see some! If I hop down here... Okay. I'm getting them. Yes! There's quite a few here. But how many? Oh, whoa! I found six! But that still won't be enough. I need to find a lot more. Yes, more diamonds. Come on. Here's more. Okay. I have plenty of diamonds. And now... I can finally craft a set of diamond gear. Once this equipment is complete, I need to rescue Mikey right away. First comes the diamond armor. I'm making it to increase my defensive power. And then, the diamond sword. Yes! 
Nice! I prepared a full set of diamond equipment. Let's put it on. Yes, perfect. With this, I can go and save Mikey. Alright, here we go. Please be okay. Seriously, you have to be alright. Here's the house. Whoa! Huh? Lightning? Whatever. Is Mikey okay? Huh? The lights are on in the house. Maybe Mikey fought off the ghost and came home? A ghost wouldn't turn on the lights. Let's take a look. Huh? Weird. Mikey seems fine. Did I imagine it? I mean, I should go in and check. Is that you, Mikey? Yes. Come in. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh... Thanks for having me! Wow, I'm glad you're safe. I could have sworn that you were attacked by a ghost. A ghost? That's weird. Here, come have some cake. And while you're eating, don't look behind you. You're giving me cake? Yes. Okay, thanks. Don't look behind me. Yeah. I guess that's fine. This cake looks good. I'll help myself to a slice. Huh? Uh... Uh... Um... What? Ha! Uh, uh, Mikey! What? Get your cake! Who is that? Huh? What? Huh? Hurry up, JJ! Something isn't right. I can see its true form in the mirror. Hurry! The ghost shapeshifted into Mikey. I have no choice. I have to use my diamond equipment to defeat him. Okay. Huh? Aren't you hungry? I knew it! You disobeyed my orders! I have no choice! I must eat you! You won't take me that easily! Yes! I did it! I was sure that was the ghost. I defeated him. But... Mikey's not here. Where is he? Where could he be? Mikey? Mikey! Sounds like the noise is coming from the ceiling. Hmm? Huh? Looks like there's a ladder. Hang on, didn't Mikey's house have an attic? This is probably it. Oh. Huh? Hmm? Mikey! JJ? Save me! Please! Mikey! You were locked up here all along? Yes! I'm free! Thank you! Ah, what a beautiful day! Hmm? Who is it? Good morning, JJ! 
Wanna go play? Uh, hey Mikey, you seem off somehow. Wait a sec, what's... What's what? What's going on with your body? I can see right through it, buddy! Weird. I also feel practically weightless. Whoa, 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 hang on. What is it? You don't have legs anymore. <gasps> I don't understand. Is this real life? I hate to say it, Mikey, but I think something terrible has happened to your body. Really? Why do you want to see my house? Because if my suspicions are correct, we're going to find something shocking inside. Ready? Here goes. Oh! Huh? I knew oh. it! It's, uh, uh, it's just as I feared! But how? How can my body be there when I'm here? Listen to me, Mikey. You are under the Reaper's curse. To put it simply, you're just a spirit right now. A spirit who has left his body. Wait! JJ? Are you saying I'm a ghost? Yes, and to make matters worse, in 100 days, the Reaper will come to claim your soul! <gasps> you have to defeat him, Mikey. It's the only way to re-enter your body and come back to life. However... Yeah? Lose to him, and it will claim your soul forever. Not forever! If you want to avoid that fate, you'll have to fight him off. You only have 100 days to prepare for him, so let's get started. Will my body be okay? Hmm, well, if we leave it here for a hundred days, it's probably gonna rot. Gross! I don't want my body to rot! What do we do? I know, let's put it in cold storage. We'll thaw it out at the end of the hundred days. Okay! All right, your body is now frozen in a cryogenic sleep. I'll shut the door, then we'll thaw it out in a hundred days. That way it won't rot. It's just like putting meat in the freezer. Perfect! Now all I have to do is beat that Reaper guy. Should be a piece of cake. Oh, it won't be. He's more powerful than you can imagine. We need to find the legendary Reaper Slaying Sword. Then fortify your spirit, or else your soul will get sliced and diced into a million pieces. No, thank you. Let's find that sword and fortify my spirit. Day one. We have 100 days to prepare for the Reaper. And Mikey's body has been put in cold storage. Morning! I'm so hungry! I can really go for some cake! Hey, oh, wait a second, Mikey! What is it? Don't eat that! For the next hundred days, cake is 100% off limits for you! No! Hmm, what do we have? Here, you can have this! Huh? Starting today, you can only eat vegetables! But I want to eat cake! And meat, too! In order to beat the Reaper, you need to cleanse yourself. And that means eating a clean, healthy, vegetarian diet and giving up cake and meat. Do I have to? I don't think I can go a hundred days without cake. Oh, if this is what it takes, I'll try. Day two recap. Mikey has officially begun his training. Day 30. Mm, this mushroom stew is delicious. And after eating nothing but veggies for four weeks, my mind has never been clearer. Glad to hear it. Congrats on making it to day 30. Now it's time to head out for phase two of your training. Head out? Where are we going? To retrieve the legendary sword. Ooh! Well then, what are we waiting for? I can use it to beat the reaper, right? Yep. Okay, we're here. This is the Tower of the Legendary Sword. Ooh. Legends say the sword sits at the top, waiting for a warrior bold enough to claim it. I guess that's me. I'll just pop up there super quick and grab it. Before you go, you should know, it takes 10 straight days of climbing to reach the top. What? Did you just say 10 days? As far as I know, this is the only weapon that can even damage him, unfortunately. Hmm. I guess I have no choice. We better start climbing. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you got this. I'll do my best to keep up with you. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Are you sure there's a top to this thing? We've been climbing non-stop for ten days. I'm tired too, Mikey. Oh, I see it! There's the top! Where? Oh, wait! I see it too! We beat it! 
TJ? I know you. The legendary sword! Right up here! That's right. Good work, buddy. <sighs> Mission accomplished. Well, almost. Huh? What? What's up there? Huh? Well? something. I refuse to believe we did this for nothing. Why me? Hmm? Uh, don't despair. Why shouldn't I? Because, look! Huh? There's a button right there. What's it do? Let's find out. Huh? Oh! What was that? It's a secret entrance. The legendary sword must be inside. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Ah! <laughs> I'm right behind you. Whoa, check out the lava. Be careful not to touch it. What's this? A door, clearly. But what's behind it? Let's find out, shall we? Whoa! Whoa! It's incredible! Wow, Mikey. This must be it. The legendary sword. Yeah! Now I can't lose! What are you waiting for? Take it! I, I, Come on! Ooh, nice! I can definitely win with this! For sure! It's really cool! And definitely capable of beating the Reaper! Uh, hang on a second! Look! A wall of enchanted books! Think we could use one to power up your sword? Maybe! Pass it over! I'll give it a try! Sure! Applying the enchantment and... Ta-da! Here! Now it does extra damage to undead foes like the Reaper! There's no way I'm losing! This fight's in the bag! Don't let your guard down! Even with the legendary sword by your side, if you don't fortify your spirit, your soul is gonna get reaped! <laughs> Alright, from this point on, we are going to focus on your spirit training! Uh, what's that? Follow me! I'll show you. We're going to conduct it in this field. Okay. For your spirit training, you must sit right there. Uh, that's it? Sounds easy. I didn't know that sitting fortified your spirit. I do it all the time. Mikey, you must sit still without moving until the final day. Huh? You want me to act like a statue until day 100? But today's day 40. There's 60 days left. You can't be serious! This is no joke! I need you to clear your head of every single thought until the battle. Your mind must be totally empty. The training is challenging but must be completed, for only then will your spirit be fortified. This sounds impossible! But I don't want my soul to be reaped, so I have to try! Sit right there, Mikey, and don't you move! I know, I won't! Be still and clear your mind. Okay! That's the spirit. Now, best of luck. All right, it's almost midnight on the final day. Mikey's been training diligently this whole time. It's inspiring, really. He doesn't even react when I talk to him. He's in a total trance. But time is almost up. Will his training be enough? Because if he takes as much as one hit from the Reaper, his soul will be slashed into smithereens. Uh, Mikey, the Reaper's here! You need to stop meditating. He's headed straight for you. Mikey? Mikey! Ah! I've been waiting for you. Huh? Try and take me. Good luck. Whoa! No way. He's doing it. He's really doing it. He's avoiding every single attack. He's totally untouchable! You got this, Mikey! Don't let him land so much as one blow, or else it's game over! Whoa! You're so powerful! Yes! You beat the 
Reaper without taking a single hit! Mikey, that's incredible! That was it? Okay, Mikey's spirit is returning to his body. Now it's time to thaw him out. There. Did it work? Yeah. He's coming out. Wow, Mikey, you're not see-through anymore. And you've got your legs again. You feeling all right, though? You were so focused during your battle, I thought you'd achieve enlightenment. All that training must change a person. This item can reverse time. If something bad happens, I can turn back time and fix what happened. I'm planning on using it all day. Whoa! Huh? And what was that? Something exploded. Oh no, Mikey's house is what exploded. What just happened? Oh, that's Mikey. Mikey, talk to me. Oh no, Mikey's dead. Oh, this is terrible! But it'll be okay. Today, I have a special item that lets me turn back time. No use waiting. Click! Huh? What happened? Where's... Huh? It's Mikey's house before the explosion. It looks like I really have turned back time. Hey, Mikey! Oh, there he is. Hooray! Mikey's alive! He's just sleeping. More importantly, why did his house explode? Hmm, I need to find the source of the explosion so I can stop it from happening. I wonder what exploded. Uh. Hold up, there's a secret lever here. Oh, a secret entrance. Let's take a look. What's this room for? Oh, hang on, there's a fire. And it's right by that TNT. It better not spread. Let me grab a bucket of water so I can put out the fire. There we go. Phew, close call. That's much better. I think the fire is extinguished. I managed to stop the explosion before it happened. Hey, wake up, Mikey. Oh! Huh? JJ? What are you doing in my house? Well, Mikey, your house was just about to catch on fire. Huh? What do you mean? What are you talking about, JJ? Look, there's no fire. Huh? I turned back time, but I wasn't able to explain to Mikey what I did. I'm just glad Mikey wasn't hurt. Oh, oh right. JJ, I just remembered an errand I need to run. So I'm going out. Oh, well, be careful. Yep, be right back. I'll see you later. It's been three hours, but Mikey still hasn't come home. I'm getting worried. I better check up on him. Huh? Is that Mikey? It is, isn't it? Oh no! He's dead! Oh! What could have happened to him? But it's gonna be okay. I still have the power to turn back time. I'll use my device to investigate what happened to Mikey and then save him. First, I'll go back far enough to give Mikey weapons and armor for protection. Huh? What? Oh, all right. I've gone back in time. Uh, hey, Mikey! Huh? What's wrong, JJ? Oh, that's right! I have an errand! <laughs> uh, no, wait, Mikey! Huh? Why? Well, it's dangerous out there. You should arm yourself before you go. What? Arm myself? There's no need for that. Even if someone tried to attack me, i beat them with one punch. Just hold on a sec. Huh? Mikey, I'm preparing some equipment for you. Huh? I think I'll give Mikey a suit of diamond armor. And I should probably throw in a laser rifle to take with him. All right. Mikey's in a cell and ready to go. 
I'm gonna have Mikey attempt to break out. Yeah, I'll break out in five minutes tops! Oh really, is that so? Mm -hmm. What's your plan? I know what to do! There'll be something in this room that will help me escape! I'm gonna find it! Oh? You're looking pretty confident. <laughs> I wonder, will Mikey be able to escape his cell? Hmm? Oh! Huh? Oh! It must be around here with all this stuff! Crafting table, enchantment table, even furnaces! It's suspicious! Hmm, interesting! Huh? Oh! Huh? Hmm! Well, I've looked it all over, and it seems normal! Maybe over here! No, nothing. <gasps> hmm? Ooh. Ah, it's just a toilet. It doesn't lead anywhere. Now what? I don't see any way out of here. It's hopeless. Any hints? Hmm, let's see. Okay, listen up. Your hint is... Yeah? The enchantment table. Huh? But I just looked through all this stuff really well, and there was nothing there. Hmm... <laughs> Mikey, was there anything behind the enchantment table? Like gaps or anything? Whoa! No way! Now that I look again, there's a secret lever! Of course! Something seemed off about this area. I know what to do. If I pull the lever, the exit will open up. Let's see... Uh -huh. Huh? Mikey? Huh? Oh, the vent! It's open now, see? Good job finding the lever and opening up the entrance to the ventilation system. Go ahead and escape through there. Oh, I wonder where this leads. Hmm? What's up? Ah, it's a maze. Good luck. Oh. Try not to get lost. It's dangerous. It splits. Which way? Close. Whoa! Be careful not to touch those. You could have warned me. Huh. This way has lasers too. What now? Hmm? I guess I could sneak through the lasers this way. Yep. Be careful. Got it! Whoa. Yes! I'm on a roll! What's over here? A door! Let's go! Three, two, one! What's this place? Oh, I hope you're ready! What is this place? There's water! And lava! But why? You have to choose between a pit of water or a pit of lava and dive into one. One is the right choice and the other is wrong. What? It's a choice? Hmm, water or lava? I know! Hmm? I choose water! Why? Well, JJ... I would burn up if I chose lava. No matter how I think of it, water is the answer. It's obvious. The choice is simple. Water. So here I go! Yippee! Oh. Huh? Huh? There's cobwebs! No! There's creepers too! Uh-oh. Poor Mikey. Seriously? I'm sorry to say... JJ! Water? No! Was the wrong choice. Really? That's a slow fall. Man! Too bad. No! <laughs> These creepers! Can I get away? There's no way out! <laughs> nope! Mikey! Aww. That means lava is the way to go? Is it really safe to just dive in? If it makes you feel better, I promise you'll be fine if you jump in. Really? I don't have any other choice! Ow! What? Huh? I'm fine! Check it out! There's a layer of water right underneath! So that's how it works! Even your fall damage was taken care of by these slime blocks. Let's move on. To the next area! Hmm? Whoa! Is this... Lava parkour? 
Yep, and there's no water under this lava, so be very careful on the course. All right. Good luck, Mikey. Uh, I'm nervous. It's okay. Ouch! It burns! I was so sure I could do it. You got this. Yeah, I'll make it this time. Nice. That was awesome. Good job. What's next? Mikey, do you see a button? It should be there. I get it now. Okay. Yeah, push the button to launch into the air. I made it! Oh. You have to walk across the pipe without falling to open the door. Good work, Mikey. Thanks. Hmm, there are two doors in here. Weird. Oh, on the right, you have the cat door. On the left, the pumpkin door. Huh. You have to choose which one to go into. It's a tough choice. The pumpkins have a scary face on them. There might be a creepy ghost inside. But on the other hand... Yeah? The cats are adorable! I choose the cute kitty door. Yeah, this must be the right choice. Interesting choice. I hope there's kittens inside. Hey, two, one. Huh? That's no cat. It's a tune. Stay away. Out. Help me. <laughs> Is that not the cat you were hoping for? That was awful. Tunes are bad. I'm sorry. There was a kitty behind the cat door, but it was a super dangerous one. Then, that means the pumpkin door is the right one? But it's scary. Trust me, it's okay. Uh, I hope you're right. Three, two, one. Hmm? Oh, snow golems. Yep. Oh. Behind the pumpkin door is a bunch of snowmen with pumpkins for heads. Well, snow golems are really nice. That's so cute! Totally. Alright, Mikey, let's keep moving. You're getting very close to breaking out. Oh, I see something! Stairs! Ah! The exit must be at the top of these stairs! I can do this! Sharp thinking, Mikey. Good luck. So many stairs! What's up here? <gasps> Is that... What's up? Yeah? There's a big monster right next to it! Is that a mutant zombie? How scary! You're right about it being the exit. You're so close! There's no way to open it! Oh no! It looks like you need the key to open the door. If you put that on the gold block, then the door will open. Oh, I see. Take a look over here. There are three chests. One of these has the key to open the door. I get it now. But two of the chests are trapped. I definitely don't want to open a trapped chest. I mean, if I do, then the mutant zombie will escape from his cage. Won't he? Maybe. Hmm, which one? Don't think too much. Just go with your gut. Which chest looks good? My gut says the one on the right. It's the furthest from the zombie. If it's not the worst option, I'm happy. Three, two, one! Huh? It's empty! But the zombie is still in his cage! Oh, this is weird. Whoa! What's happening? Ah! This is a pitfall into the void! Yep, the one on the right was a pitfall trap. Oh man! I have awful luck! was as horrible a choice as the mutant zombie. That's true, but don't let it get you down. Now it's a 50-50 chance. Find the key and escape. Hmm. Okay. Wait. No. Oh. The one on the left. Yep. Uh-oh. It's a 50% chance, and I feel good that this one isn't the zombie. So, I choose the left. Okay. JJ? Maybe I should choose the middle after all. Make up your mind already. I'm going with my intuition. This one, on the left. No more second guessing. Here it goes. Three, two, one. Please be good. Um, huh? No! Why me? You chose 
chose the zombie! Seriously? Oh man! It was... The middle one! Hang in there! Good luck! Alright! Ow! Come on! Don't fall! The mutant zombie is slow, so... Oh! I got the lever! Whoa, good thinking, grabbing the key! Ouch! That hurt! Now all you have to do is pull that lever! <laughs> Mikey! I failed! Again? Oh. oh, Mikey. Why? Go! This is the chest? Yep. It seemed obvious. Now's my chance. Come on! Yes! Yes! I'm Run. out! Woohoo! Yay! I'm free! I did it! Amazing! That was a successful prison break. Good job! Thank you! That was fun! Yeah! All right, let's get started. We're seeing what prison life is like as inmates. I bet it's way more fun than you'd think. Let's go to our cells. Whoa! Ooh la la! So, this is my cell. Oh, there's even a bed and bookshelves in here. And a toilet. It's actually really roomy. Plus, there's a big window. Uh, how's yours, Mikey? Well, my cell... Is way too small! Oh. Oh, there are cobwebs everywhere! And no bed either! Why is my cell so run down? Hmm. You're kidding! Oh. Well, at least this isn't something I'd experience otherwise! So I guess it's fun for what it is! Yay! Well then, let's start living the prison life! Huh? Oh, I guess it's meal time. Let's go, Mikey. Oh, sweet! I'm so hungry I could eat anything. I just hope it tastes good. Me too. Nice! My meal is bread and an apple. Simple, but yummy. Lucky you! Oh, this is all they gave me. Wait, is that grass, Mikey? Seriously? Yeah, they said it's because I'm a turtle, and turtles only eat grass! <laughs> but on the bright side, I love eating grass! <laughs> <laughs> well, dig in! <laughs> but, Mikey, won't you be hungry after this? Yeah, probably! <gasps> I have an idea! Wait right here, JJ. Huh? Hmm. Mikey? Oh. Here. One sec. Uh. <laughs> what? You can't go in there. What are you doing? No one is here right now, so they'll never know. <laughs> here, I found them. Yes. Mikey. Hmm? Be careful. It's fine. <laughs> I did it! Yes! You! TJ, look! I snuck some cookies! I'll have them for dinner! Okay, it's time to shoot some hoops! Huh? Oh! Mikey! Huh? TJ! Let's play some basketball! Oh, I was told I need to run laps around the court. Huh? <sighs> so tired. Huh? Huh? What is it? Huh? No slacking? <laughs> I was just taking a break. Hey! Hey, shack off! The guards have their eye on Mikey. Ugh. Ow! Stop it! Well, it's time to sleep. Woohoo! First, I'm eating the cookies I stole from the kitchen. Then I'm going right to sleep. Okay, Mikey. <laughs> Wait, he's here to search us? Huh? 
They're calling for the most massive eruption in history tonight. And they expect the volcano to be active for a month? What? A gigantic volcanic eruption? Starting tonight? And it'll last a whole month? Let's go check it out for ourselves. Okay! Oh, they weren't kidding! What's smoking up here? Oh, this is getting out of hand. We can't stay, Mikey. We have to find cover as quick as possible. Uh, but there aren't any shelters in our village! You're right, buddy. So I guess it's up to us. Hmm? Since there's no safe place to hide nearby, we'll have to hurry up and build a shelter ourselves. Let's get moving. Yeah! Get back! To the village! Quick! <laughs> Sprint! Come on, we don't have much time! That's right! Uh, we are in for a world of trouble. Okay, now, uh... Let's not dilly-dally! The volcano's gonna explode! Come in here, Mikey. Check it out. I need you to put on a helmet and take a pickaxe. Done! And done! Good. Now let's get cracking on a shelter under our house. Got it! We'll start here. All right! Get digging! Oh, I'm on it! Step one. Uh-huh. Keep tunneling down. We have to hurry, though. The eruption could go up at any time. Do you think this is deep enough? Mm -hmm. We'll clear some space in that case and begin working on a room. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yay, shelter making. Yay, indeed, Mikey. We have to make this space magma ready. Then let's get building. Okay, we want to make sure that lava can't get in. Totally! That's the last thing we want in our hideout. I think we're almost done with our first space. How's this? Nice! Maybe a bedroom over here? Sure! I'd also like to have a living room. Whew. This ought to be big enough for now. Mm -hmm. And... Ooh. Finished! Is it really? Check it out! Oh, wait. Not quite, actually. We can't forget the ladder. True that! Whoa! There. I added a hatch. And now it's done. Not bad, huh? It's great! Hmm. Ah, that's right. This stuff up here. What? Let's make this part out of stone. Because the lava could burn through the wood. How does that look? Really good! Okay, that should do it. Uh-huh! So, next up, since this eruption is supposed to last for an entire month, we have to be able to spend all that time down here. That's right! Let's set up the space with everything we need to survive for 30 days. Sounds great! I say we start with the bedroom. Sure. We'll definitely want beds. <laughs> I know I will! The villagers will be staying here too, you know. Right, right, right. Let's set up bunk beds. Woo! This is what you have to do to make them. These out. There. Stunning. Adding a ladder in the middle. And of course, the bottom bunks. Very nice. <laughs> that about does it. We're done? Well, let's build another lair. There are going to be a lot of us, after all. True. This might not be enough for everyone. Hmm. How's this? Looks good. Triple-decker bunk beds coming right up. Awesome. Put this here. Fix this. Yay! Is this better? Yes! It's great. Now we have room for six people to sleep. What we need now is a toilet and a shower. For sure. It would be embarrassing to have them out in the open. Drew that! So, we'll make a dedicated bathroom for them. Great thinking! Something like this. Ooh. Okay, the toilet can go here. Uh-huh. We'll wash our hands in this corner. Ooh. 
Yeah, great idea. We'll put the bathtub over on this side. And the only thing left is the shower. There. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze, but everything we need fits. So it's finished then. Yay! Fantastic! We'll place a door here, and that's the bathroom. The bedroom's done too. Uh-huh. So the next thing on our list is the living room. Oh, what will we need for that? Well, it's also going to serve as a kitchen. So we're going to want to store a month's worth of food, or else we'll starve. What point? So let's make a kitchen area. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> so for the kitchen corner, let's make something along these lines. Okay. How's this? Very nice. It looks great. Then it's done. Whoa. We even have a fridge. So we're going to spend a month in here? Yep, but I almost forgot. We're gonna need some food. Right! Let's get some. There should be some in the supply shed. Oh. Let's have a look-see. Wow, there's so much. These are our reserves. Oh. Potatoes, carrots. Some of the meat and potatoes are rotten, unfortunately. But whatever, let's grab it all. Uh, all right, that's a ton of rub. We also have a large wheat supply. Let's take some with us. It keeps well, and we can use it to make bread. Wow! It's just wheat, buddy. And it's all coming with us. Come here. There. All right. Done. Not quite. There's still some growing over on the farm. Let's harvest it. Okay. Grab everything you can. Sure thing. Woo! Well done. Wowzers! We gathered up so much food! Now, huh? let's put it all away before the volcano erupts. Good idea! Huh. Let's put the carrots and the fresh meat in the fridge. Go for it! Pack them in there! The potatoes too. Why not? There. Now, hmm. Yes? We'll store the rest of the food as well as the wheat in this chest. Excellent idea! That should be enough to get us through the month. Something super important! What is it? Hang on a second! What else do we need? Hang on! I'll show you! Huh? Okay! One of these! Oh! A TV! And of course, we gotta have a couple of these! Now this here! And then... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, what are those? They're computers! For gaming! Oh! Now we can take it easy! I see! If we didn't have our gadgets, we couldn't spend a month down here in this shelter! It would be way too boring! This stuff will definitely help us pass the time! Mm hmm! We're ready! Now we have everything we need, right? We can just kick back and relax! Not quite, Mikey! You're forgetting the most important thing! Huh? What could I possibly have overlooked? For ordinary circumstances, this would be more than enough. But the whole region is about to be covered in lava. So? Well, the inside of our shelter is gonna heat up like a sauna. What? That's no good. Are you saying it's gonna get boiling hot in here? Because we can't survive that. Are you positive about all this? Don't worry, Mikey. Huh? I have an idea. We'll build an AC system. Let's head to the village. We've got some shopping to do. Okay. This is the place. Are you sure? This guy only sells ice. I'm positive. That's what we want to stock up on. I brought my savings. 100 diamonds. Oh. I'm going to use these shiny things to buy as much ice as we can. Mm. All right. We bought a huge supply from the market. Wow! We have more than enough to make an AC system. Okay, this is the bedroom. Let's carve out another space on this side. Sure! This is where we'll set up our system. Let's do it! Gotta make some room first. Of course! So now, Mikey... Uh-huh. We're gonna place some ice on the ground. Okay. Now on the wall. 
Even just this will have an impact on the temperature. I'm cooling down already. But it isn't enough, though. Oh? I'll place some iron blocks in the back. Hmm. Okay. Oh. The lever's gonna go here, and the fan will go here. Wowee! Amazing! Watch, if I flip the switch, like so, whoosh! Whoa! Great, huh? Fantastic! It's so much cooler now! The fan blows the air off the ice and into the rest of the shelter. That's how we'll counter the heat from the lava. Yay! We won't have to boil down here! That's right. Now let's go round up the villagers. Is the volcano really gonna blow tonight? Do you want to go above ground and take a peek? Okay. Even if it does, how big of an eruption could it be anyway? Okay. Hmm. Well, how does it look? Do you see anything? Could. Might as well. This is so much fun! You said it! Nice and cool. And the villagers are already asleep. Let's join them. <sighs> Sleep, eat, game, repeat. Thanks to our computers, spending a month down here is easy. <laughs> mm. huh? Huh? Uh, what was that sound? I think I heard an explosion in the living room. in the ceiling, and now it's seeping through. We have to plug it before it gets any worse. I have some dirt blocks, but will they do the trick? Will they stop the lava flow? Hmm? Oh, Mikey, I think it's working. Let's see. Will we be okay? We might be able to use dirt to seal the hole. Well... It worked! The leak, it's stopping! <sighs> look, look, look! Is the lava level still coming down? Yes! I think we're safe! Wonderful! We managed to survive! Yippee! Now everything in the shelter is back to normal! I'm just glad we were able to protect the food! <sighs> Fortunately, it's A-OK! -okay. Hmm? Uh, Mikey? Yeah? What's the matter, JJ? Everything's all right, isn't it? No. Look. The shelter is back to normal. It isn't. The computers and TV, they melted. Oh, no! 